and welcome to the Great Digital Pub. I'm here today interviewing these lovely two, Sophie Brown and guitarist John Greenwood, and together they make Fille de la Lune, which means Daughter of the Moon in French. Yeah. That's correct, right? Yeah. So welcome everyone, big round of applause for these two. Oh, so first of all, tell us a bit about your name then. Obviously it's French, but where did you get the idea for your name? Well, um, I'm half Dominican, so um, my mum's Creole, so that's where the kind of French element came in. But um, okay. I think, well, the real reason <laughs> is because I was born on a full moon. Um, I was premature, about a month late, and um, the moon kind of um, affects me. <laughs> I get a bit strange, and I'm not the only one. I know that other people say that they go a bit weird, so that's where it came from. Oh, that's nice. It's a very nice name. I do like it. I didn't even have to get it translated either to know what it meant. So, so how did you two meet then? Wow. Oh, um, we, well, basically I was looking for a guitarist and I put an ad up online, I think, I think it was Gumtree. Yeah, and um, John came through, it was meant, you know, with loads of other guitarists, you know, as well, but John was clearly the best. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we sort of met up and we just had a jam, really, and... And have been doing it for about a year now, haven't we? Yeah. The rest is history. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, I guess really, like, what, who are your influences and idols? Do you two sort of bounce off one another in your ideas, or do you bring different things to the table, or how does it how does it work between you two? Um, I think we definitely did. I know we've both got different influences, and I'm sure John will, you know, sort of go through his in a minute. But I mean, we're both coming from the soul, sort of. Um, end of life really um, but my influences are mainly sort of analog um, anything from sort of early Atlantic soul um, to jazz funk um, folk anything sort of analog 50s 60s that sort of sound really that's cool what about you John? I'm, uh, I'm mainly a jazz guitar player um, so I'm influenced by the great sort of jazz guitar players like Wes Montgomery Charlie Christian those sort of guys but um, I'm a huge fan of soul uh, and it's great yeah. to be able to uh, to use all sort of jazz knowledge, jazz language um, when playing, you know, Sophie songs or any of the soul songs we play. Yeah, mm. and we both love, you know, like Dinah Washington. I'm massively influenced by her, and um, Billie Holiday, Bill Withers, that you know, yeah. that sort of. Oh yeah, I yeah. love a bit of Phil Withers. Yeah, heart warmer. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> so do you write your own music then, Sophie? Or yes. Do you yeah. write it together or is it...? Well yeah, I mean most of the songs that um, me and John perform, I sort of wrote them rather originally. And then obviously when we get together we sort of just jam the songs and John, you know, um, creates his amazing guitar lines. Um, and he adds all the, well you're here when we perform, but he adds some, you know, all the sort of jazz feels. I, I can't do that. I can <laughs> sing it, but I can't sort of create that. So, John will probably say it's all me, but it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. I mean, I'm uh, mainly an improviser, so Sophie kind of provided all the frameworks uh, of all the songs, and I sort of improvise around that, which is, uh, which is great. Hopefully Sophie, Sophie will let me do a bit of that, but... Yeah, um, definitely. Oh, that's cool. That sounds really good. So I saw on Facebook that you had a debut EP launch this week, I believe, is yes, that right? Yes, How did that go? It went really well, didn't it? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it was, great. it was really good. I think the main thing is I just get really nervous about, you know, performing. Um, and it was really nice to kind of perform to everyone that supported us for the last year. Um, yeah, it was really nice. It was an intimate performance and I didn't forget my words. So I was like, yes. <laughs> was it a good turnout as well? It was, yeah. I mean, at the end of the performance, I think it was like the song before the last. And I just looked out to the audience and I could see, you know, people were like trying to get in and it was packed. So I was just like, is this really oh, my cake? Wow. wow. Yeah, it was good. It's nice. I don't know, maybe my sister pay people to do it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, obviously you guys aren't signed yet. No. So, what is the plan, the PLA, for 2012? Gosh, well, just to, just to keep doing what we're doing, really. I think, you know, with any new artist, you have to just keep getting out there um, and just do as many gigs as possible. And it's just sort of recently that we've, you know, we've had quite a lot of... Um, attention and offers for gigs and it's been it's been really nice i mean ultimately um i'm looking for sort of professional management because my my sister mel has been um sort of managing me um so far and she's done an absolute great job but she's got a full-time job and she's really like the art director for us and the sort of creative visionary she does all of our um, videos photography she styles me which is great because i would just wear jeans every time <laughs> <of my life. laughs> um, 
So yeah, just um, a, you know, an opportunity to do more gigs and to get some more exposure really. Have you got any festivals lined up or anything like that in the pipeline? Um, or? Yeah, we've got one so far, we've got Beach Break Live. Um, oh, and that's okay. in yeah, that'll be cool. June, so that's going to be cool. Yeah. That'll be fantastic with all the students. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. And anything else? Any gigs in London? Or yeah, I mean, we've had quite a few up until this point. We we did strong room sessions um, a couple of weeks ago, and that was brilliant. Um, but we've got I do a res residency slot at Proud Camden Galleries, and I'm doing I think the next one's on the fifth. I think it's the 5th, yeah. 5th of May, which is also the Camden Crawl weekend, so that should be really good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, brilliant. Well, what are you going to perform for us today, then? Um, I'm <coughs> going to perform... Well, we're going to perform. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> Love Goes Off the Stages. Uh, it's over again, and Dominique is calling. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, then. Well, I shall leave it to you guys. Thank you very much. You've been great. Big round of applause, everyone.